From the early days of television and radio broadcasting, women have fought for their role in the newsroom, being told time and time again that they had no place in the broadcast industry. But this attitude didn't stop women like Pauline Frederick, whose grade A journalism and determination led to groundbreaking opportunities for women in the industry. Frederick's career in journalism began in the 1930s as a freelance journalist. With hopes of being noticed in the political world, she began requesting interviews with diplomats' wives since it was unheard of for women to interview male political figures. This series, which was later published as her first book nearly 30 years later, Ten First Ladies of the World, is what eventually landed her first professional job reporting for the Washington Star in the late 30s. After the end of World War II, Frederick had gained a foothold in journalism, and she set off as a war correspondent on a journalist tour of North Africa, Asia, and China after being advised by her employer at the time that this was no job for a woman. This ended up being part of her big break as she successfully completed her first overseas broadcast from China as the first female reporter to ever do so. Throughout the 1940s, Frederick continued as a freelance reporter covering topics that for so long were deemed unfit for women, like the Nuremberg trials, the Korean War, and other various political events around the world. Even though she had a vast amount of experience under her belt, no big news producer would hire her full-time simply because she was a woman. It wasn't until 1949 when Frederick was hired by ABC full-time. Making history, she was the first woman to work as a full-time reporter for any U.S. television network. During this time, the United Nations was formed and she took it upon herself to adopt it as her own official beat, which eventually led to NBC hiring her away because she was so good at it. The UN remained her news beat at NBC for the next 21 years, where she became a very well-known figure throughout the United Nations. She continued to be a woman of many firsts. She was the first woman to moderate a televised presidential debate in 1976 between President Gerald Ford and candidate Jimmy Carter. She was also the first newswoman to make the Gallup polls list of most admired women, along names like Eleanor Roosevelt and Jackie Kennedy. She lived a life dedicated to hard news, paving the way for newswomen like Barbara Walters, Lisa Howard, Nancy Dickerson, and more. Frederick never let her gender stand in the way of her passion for journalism and politics, setting the standard for years to come.